Chinese dessert of 2013. It is Tiger Tiramisu. There are no tigers involved, so don't worry about the WWF. The ingredients are simple. You're going to need some good quality coffee, a shot of brandy, some double cream, some toffee yogurt, some sponge fingers, some muscovado sugar, and a vanilla bean. All the ingredients will be listed on the blog. Okay, and now I'm going to make some coffee. Pour into a fairly shallow dish. Okay, I'll drink the rest of that. Now, one shot of brandy. <clears throat> then all we do is we grab a pack of sponge fingers and we soak them in the mixture. Make sure they're in and out fairly quick because you don't want them to go mushy. So literally one, two, couple of rotations and then place down, sugar side down. Okay. And you literally, I don't know whether you can see, we literally just line this tray. Now by the way, this will serve six portions. So, and little tip, let the coffee cool down just a tad, because otherwise you'll end up burning yourself. Now, you've got to make sure that the layer is tessellated, so, and snap it on and half, just to, Get that in there like so. And now, the filling part. Little trick, whenever you're dealing with cream, if you're gonna whip it up, have the bowl in the fridge. It works well, okay? It just whips up a little bit quicker and since I'm doing this by hand, speed is of the essence. 450 ml of double cream. And before we start whipping it up, one vanilla pot. Now, a lot, of, a lot of you are thinking, okay, vanilla is expensive. Trust me, it isn't. Do what I do, shop on eBay. You'll get them dirt cheap, okay? Split the vanilla pod, like so, okay? And then, using the back of a knife, okay, once you've got it open, just scrape out the inside. And that black stuff, that is what you need. That is the good stuff. That goes into the cream. If it'll ever fit in there, come on. And you want to scrape out as much of, you, as, this, of this as you can, because that is the good stuff right there. Just Now, I'm not even going to add any sugar to this. It's going to be sweet enough, as is. And you just want to whip this up until it forms firm peaks. There we have it. That is what you're looking for. Some thick, pliable cream that took three and a half, four minutes of heavy-duty whisking, so don't get the electric mixer out. I'm now going to grab my toffee yoghurt. You can use hazelnut as well, but... I wasn't sure whether that was actually going to work. Don't know whether some people are allergic to nuts in this place, so toffee yogurt preferred. And then just fold the yogurt into the cream. Once you've got it folded, you literally want half the mixture over the sponge fingers. About half this mixture. You can't just spread it out nice and evenly. You don't want too thick a layer. As two of them suit, the secret is to get it so it's the layers change fairly frequently. And there we are. Okay, and now, just repeat. Again, make sure it's sugar side down. Now, a lot of people are asking, well, why are you doing this? What? Why can't you have a normal tiramisu? Simple, I'm allergic to cheese. That's it. So this is a if you know someone who's allergic to cheese, but who can have dairy, then this is the ideal accompaniment. In fact, with dairy-free cream and dairy-free yogurt on the market, you can probably make this with El Me or whatever the dairy fuel alternatives are, and make it for someone who can't have dairy at all. Now scrape the rest of this mixture. Get as much out as you can. You really do not want to have anything left in the bowl as much as you can. Spread this out and make sure you get a thin layer on this one. But make it as even as you can. Just by the way, this will serve six generous portions. You can probably push it to eight if you're doing this for people with small appetites. Where does the tiger aspect come in? <laughs> Good voice <isn't> over. <laughs> Simple. This stuff, dark, dark. Muscovado sugar. All we do is we compress it down, just to sprinkle it lightly to form tiger stripe 
patterns on the topping of the turmeric. Now you don't want to have too much sugar, but you want to have a little bit on here just to make sure that you get a bit of sweetness because let's not forget, although we've added the vanilla, we've not actually added any sugar. And that's it. That goes into the fridge for about five to six hours. An hour before you serve, this needs to be taken out of the fridge and retopped with Muscovado sugar before you serve. So you're under six hours. Yeah, all right folks, come on in here. This is the Tiger Tiramisu after five hours in the fridge. The sugar's just started to absorb into the filling mixture. And when it's cut, I'll show you what it looks like. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is how Tiger Tiramisu should look like. I know it's a bit dark, but it's part of a dinner party. Take it easy and don't work too hard. Hey. 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 Right, I've been Anadine Stein, Colin Munyon. Good night. <laughs>